welcome to my new, a uh, little bit extraordinary webcast, screencast, um, about uh, um, simple bug that I discovered in Visual Studio 2013. Uh, what I want to show you now is a behavior in adding references to projects which I find is buggy in the new Visual Studio and I show it in comparison to the Visual Studio 2012. Okay, let's just take a look at what we've done. I just open a solution here in Visual Studio 2013. Uh, you can see that it's 2013 because uh, you know of the um, features here on the top right. There you can see it's uh, the new one and because of the logo here I show you the 2012 solution which I opened uh, in parallel. The logo is black and here no flag is visible. So every time when you don't see the flag and you are a little bit confused, uh, this is 2012. And as you can see, I opened uh, the same solution in both studios in parallel. You can see here the solution is named Sample Solution and just to prove it I go and hit F4 for the properties and you see it's p.net test sample solution uh, and sample solution SLN. Now I switch over to 2013 and just hit F4 here too and you see it's the same path. So uh, that's how we can be sure that um, I'm not doing uh, something strange here. It's just um, um, the simple um, solution opened in both versions of Visual Studio. Now I'm in 2013. I stay here and now let's take a look at what I wanted to do. I have solution folders, data, logic and UI and I, in each solution folder, data and logic, I have a core project which I um, brought in with the following properties. It's um, a default namespace which is coding freaks as a prefix and then sample solution, the name of the solution, then the name of the uh, solution folder data and then core as the name of the project. That's the namespace and I named the assembly name as sample solution data core. The same I did here in logic core but instead of data it's using logic and I did everything in the assembly info tool which means I have a assembly info which is working just without the prefix coding freaks. Everything else is um, just set up like in the properties. This leads to um, when I build such a project this leads to following files in the bin folder bin debug it's sample solution dot data dot core DLL. That's because in the properties here I use this assembly name and this leads to the DLL. Okay, fine, so far. That's um, the way I do it uh, in uh, bigger solutions, which means I just use solution folders uh, for layers, for in, in multi-layer, in uh, applications or tiers if you want to. I use solution folders and I collect just uh, assemblies there and my main assemblies in each layer are named core. That's my convention if you like. So now I want to set a reference in sample console which is just a UI pro project to logic and core and I start with core. Okay, I go uh, on the references, add reference and I use this one, data, core. He's showing it the right way, data, backslash core and core. Okay, this leads to this reference, just core. And now see what happens if I add or try to add a reference to Logic Core 2. This happens. Visual Studio 2013. Okay, now I'm a little bit confused. I just remove those both references. See it's clear. No core is referenced anymore. And I switch over. I save it. And I switch over to Visual Studio 2012. Which immediately says, hey, there was something going on on this solution in 2013. Should I reload it? Yes, reload it. I just uh, get rid of the properties right now. So he reloaded it 
And now I do the same here in 2012. I hit Add Reference, I go to Core in Data, say OK, and see what happens. He's adding Core and here's the suffix saying I mean Data backslash Core. And now guess what happens if I add this reference to Nothing strange about it. Visual Studio 2012 says that's fine for me. What's happening here? In 2012, obviously, if I go and edit the project file, there's going on, just go this one. You see, item group, this is where those references come into place on this project, on the console. And here you can see that he's using this name, core with escaped sequences of the real name, the path to the core, here too. So both core projects can come into play. And um, see, they have GUIDs too. So it's not uh, necessary to make it on the name, to just depend it on the name, if you do it in this format. Very nice. Now what's funny, if I just reload this, I'm in 2012 just for remembering and I'm saving it and now I go to 2013 this is 2013 saying hey something changed on the solution should I reload yes please and now you know what is both core projects are right here because 2012 made it the right way and because 2013 just loads the solution file and the project file like 2012 saved it now, if I go back and remove those two and add one of them in 2013 and I just save everything and go to Edit Project File. Now let's take a look what 2013 makes in Item Group and that's the point. Here's the Item Group and you see what it makes with the name. It just leaves this escaped sequence out of the place it has the GUID, no problem here, but it just omits this path to data core, so that it's unable. The second time I want to, if I reload it <coughs> now, if I try to add another reference to logic core. Now he finds this name is already referenced inside the project file and he complains. Now a simple solution could be just to rename those uh, project names. Just listen what I said. Not the assembly name, not the namespace, not anything. Just the name of the project to logic.core and to data.core. Now he immediately updated here the reference name and if I now hit add reference to logic core everything is fine for him because the name is unique and he is not complaining anymore but what seems to be a simple solution to this problem isn't very practicable if you just um, try to imagine you have a project which you build up in 2012 here it is 2012 black logo I just, I have projects with like 60 up to 120 projects in one solution. And if I just now um, uh, use this technique which I showed just uh, renaming those um, projects to other names, it's just not practicable because maybe just one developer decides, hey, I want to use this one, which is 2013, and he's not able to rename uh, this project because he's not uh, allowed to write in this folders and the solution folders or areas or whatever uh, because other team mem members are responsible for those projects. So he's in the situation that he's in UI developer and he wants just to um, add a reference to data core which is isolated because I gave it all the classes in another namespace, everything is fine, everything is fine as it was in 2012 and now in 2013 he's not able to add references. That's, in my opinion, uh, that is a bug. The bug, I think, um, hides inside the window here, add reference, because this window seems to um, make a bug 
when editing the project file. Something is different here, which is not good because, uh, like 2012 shows us, uh, Microsoft had this feature in, in the past and uh, so I did nothing wrong, um, uh, in my opinion. So uh, I just made this tutorial, first of all, to warn all of people, all of those people which um, I believe in the in the point, in the sentence that 2013 is completely compatible with 2012, with the format. Yes, it is in reading the format, but not in writing. And second of all, I hope that uh, Microsoft will take a look at this tutorial and maybe there will be an update um, for the Add Reference dialog because I think uh, that's, that's an issue. They uh, should do something about it. Okay, um, I hope I could show you uh, some um, important information on this and uh, hope you don't get into the trap. Okay, bye.